Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this video is about how to display employee details using class in C++. So come on, let's get started. So now let's open our Dave C++ application and open a new file. So now let's begin. So first let's include our header file. IO stream now using namespace std now let us create a class which is employee so this is my keyword class and this is my class name that is employee now let's open the braces and now declare three variables that is of type int is employee employee id second is of data type care of name and the third one is float for salary now let's declare our access specifier which is public so our data can be accessed by anyone anywhere now let's create a function called get data to take input of the data. Open the braces and now we'll ask to enter the name. Enter your name. Now we will read that name. Secondly, we will ask to enter the employee ID enter your employee ID now we will read that employee ID now we will ask to enter the salary which is sal so now uh, this get data function is over now we will close this function by giving the braces and now we will create another function to display this data so the function name is display data open the braces now we are going to see out to give the print statement as your details are your details are so you have, firstly we are going to print the name slash n is given to get everything on new line so here the name is see out for employee id which is emp id and third print statement for salary which is sal so now this function is also over and now we are going to close our class so this c these are the bases that my class contains and now i am going to close this class by giving a semicolon here it is necessary to give the semicolon when you are closing our class and now let's create our main function open the braces now we are going to create object of my class so see this is my class name and this is my object so employee is my class name and e is the object and now we are going to call this object e dot 
dot operator is used to call the object get data function is called and here display data function is called a dot display data now close our main function so now first let's save this program amp dot cpp now let's compile it so it's showing no errors so now we'll run it so it's asking for name I am entering RAM. It's asking for employee ID. I am giving employee ID to 102 and it's asking for my salary. So it's 25,000. See, it's displaying your details are name, RAM, employee ID 102, and salary 25,000. So if you like my video, do like and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video. Bye bye.